Hey everyone, this is Jim with Evil PC Gaming, bringing you another Elite Dangerous video, and I want to show you how easy it is to get into bounty hunting. I know a lot of people will probably want to do this when they get the game on December 16th. Um, it's one of the main things that I wanted to get into also, because it can be easy money if you find some good targets. So of course you can do it with any ship that's in the game, of course as long as you have some type of weapon on it. Um, but I wouldn't really go out with, say, a hauler to try to bounty hunt. We want to go out with some kind of fighting style ship. Um, what we have here is the Viper. You can do it in the starter sidewinder. It's definitely feasible. Just pick your targets, you know, wisely. Uh, best places to find your targets is the uh, resource extraction sites, which you can find these around any ringed planets with the asteroid belts going around there. Uh, they usually have three extraction sites. Um, any ring planet with a rocky ring or a metal rich ring will have these extraction sites going around. Though you can jump in anywhere you want within that ring. All the actions going on within the resource site. So you'll see here once we fly into here and the reason I approach the way I do here is because on the way in you're almost on the same plane with the ring and it seems like when you come in on that on the plane of the ring it keeps putting me 25 30 clicks out um, when I jump into real space I found that when I do it this way sometimes I fall anywhere from 10 kilometers to 15 kilometers it looks really cool as you're coming in the asteroid belts in this game is just simply amazing. Every asteroid that you see floating around, if you're mining, you can mine every single one of these. I mean, the, gra the graphics on this game is just downright stunning. So usually when I enter in, I'll fly down to the resource extraction site. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to that point. As you see here, we're starting to pick up contacts. And we'll start flying towards them and scanning everyone to see if they're wanted. So what you want to do is you want to find your, find your targets. Start flying towards them. Get within your sensor range. And you'll notice because you'll get a, an orange shaded uh, diamond around the target. Just like this, lock it, point your ship towards the target so it can do all your scanning there to the left. Scott you got a name and it's wanted, go over to contacts, go down to the name you have locked, and look at the bounty at the bottom of the screen. That one was 2000 some. So of course, the guy that's wanted isn't necessarily going to engage you because he does not know your intentions. So you can take your time and start to line up your shot and get behind him in a good position to hopefully he can't shake you off too easily. Go over to sub-targets. I like to target the drive because a lot of times if you're kicking that AI's ass, they will do their best to get away from you and go into super cruise or, uh, or do a hyper jump. So what you see here is I'm using my pulse lasers. Now they're just stock that came with the Viper. I use my st uh, my pulse lasers to get the shield down. And I want to try to get lined up on him again. And you see that little red box there? That's the target of the drive that I have targeted within the, uh, within the system that you saw me select. So right now I have the left drive selected. It really doesn't... From what I've seen, it doesn't seem to matter. It will take out both drives. Now this gun that I'm shooting there is gimbaled, um, oh, they're, they're like uh, little, little Gatling guns, small caliber, I forgot the exact name, and I'm sorry that I cannot remember the name, I'm sure some people will correct me in the comments down below. The, uh, kinetic energy type weapons are best against the hull. Laser weapons are best against the shield. Now, I have also found if you turn your flight assist off when you're turning, when you're when you're trying to get your ship back around to him, turning off the flight assist allows you to turn a little bit quicker. Now, the only downside is you continue 
forward momentum when you turn the flight assist off. And as you're bringing your shift around, you're still going in the direction you were originally facing. So once you do your 180 and you turn your flight assist back on, if you choose to, I mean, you can fly without it. It's definitely squirrely handling and it takes some skill and some getting used to to do that. That was a close call. Now, another great place to find, um, you know, people that are wanted, as far as AI goes, is at the nav beacons at the most star system, you know, but most systems that you jump into, when you come into the star, has a nav beacon around it. So you can see here right away, as soon as we jump into real space, we have a ton of targets to choose from. Now, this guy's not wanted, but... Hey, whatever. Just kind of like practicing flying around and using some control. So we'll get on up here and take a look at the other ones flying around. I can almost guarantee you one of them are going to be wanted at least. So remember, you want to keep the ship in front of you while it's scanning, or it will not tell you if he's clean or wanted. So this is one of the uh, new adders that came out with the Gamma release. Uh, the Gamma 2.0 release. Uh, the lighting effects on this game. Just, uh, the, whole, the whole game, graphically, is just sexy. Here's a flight of three AI. Sometimes, uh, you know, you have a pirate or somebody smuggling something and they have their escort. Sometimes it's totally legit and they have their escorts. Either which way, if this guy was wanted, for example, or one of them, I have seen them, you know, if one is wanted and you select them, the other two will engage you while you're chasing the other one around. Then all of a sudden you're, you're stuck in a three-way fight that you will probably lose unless you have a decent skill set and a decent ship. I usually don't suggest someone go, you know, to go against three or four ships at the same time if you're brand new to the, um, to the dogfighting aspect of the game. Fire the afterburn up. Get out here and scan the rest of these. Another good thing about bounty hunting out here at the beacons. Okay, this guy's won it. But not worth my time. Or the ammo. So here we have a Type 7 transport, and he is wanted. You can see he has no shields up, so he doesn't even have a shield generator. And he's worth 28, 12 in credits. But not a huge win. But just to kind of show you guys what's going on, I'm gonna take him out. So this is the great thing. AI does not know your intentions. They usually don't panic unless you start scanning them. And then they'll usually break off and so forth. So right here I have the left drive targeted. I'm going to put the pulse lasers on the right and start, uh, of course, my Gatling gun there. Needed a reload. Start loading up on this engine and evidently he has a turret on the top of this thing. So I'm going to get try to stay below him the best I can. Now when you have a system targeted, where it tells you where they're wanted, you will see the status of the subsystem they have targeted. Like here it says I have the drive targeted, and you see it. Hopefully, I can get it back on the screen here. You see it going down as I'm shooting it? I'm taking that out. See, he wanted to go into a hyper cruise or uh, a super cruiser hyper jump. It's not happening now, he's dead in the water. Both drives, they only had one target and both drives went out. 
So not bad. His bounty went up a little bit, I guess, because he shot at me. And what's this? Ah, yes. The Anaconda. This is definitely not a ship you want to take on unless you have some heavy firepower and either some uh, Federation security service vehicles around you or your buddies are online. Because usually the size of this ship and the amount of weapons it has on it is just... It's, it's a very, very hard ship to kill. I did go against one in the asteroid fields the other day with Federal Security Service ships helping me out. Unfortunately, I did not get the last hit on it, but it was worth a $123,000 bounty. Freaking FSS ships evidently got the last shot in on it, but whatever, I was happy that I did not die right away. I kept my distance away from the Anaconda within my weapons range, and the F uh, F uh, Federal Security ships kept him busy. So let's engage this guy again. I'm going to go for the drive. The Adder is a cargo ship. Um, surprisingly, this one has shields. And that's going to shoot me right by him. That sounded pretty damn neat, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I did shoot by him like that, just to hear it. But it's okay, it actually put me in a decent position. The reason I wasn't catching up is because I had my system set up wrong. Again, I, I put four to the weapons, and I'll put two up into the engines. Alright, we'll start lighting this guy up. I'm sure he has some kind of turret weapon on here. Yep, there we go. Frame shift charge, he's gonna wanna go into super space or do a hyper jump, so we gotta get the drives out ASAP. You can target his FSD also. I just find the drives are easiest to target since they're right there on the outside. And now he's dead in the water, he's not gonna go target anywhere. Target shields online. Target shields offline. And if you keep the gap closed up, because the Viper is, I believe, a 50 ton ship. You also want to do your best to stay in close when the FSD is detected due to the, um, the mass of your ship slows down the recharge rate of their FSD. So if you stay in close, they can't jump out too quick. They can still get away. It takes a while. So now that you got all your bounty kills, you want to head back to any terminal or orbital station within the government that the warrants were issued. Usually it's going to be within the system that you caught all your bounties anyway. I'm in the Federation. Of course they're all Federation bounties. Yeah, uh, if I was in the Empire, uh, you know, system, I would have to visit a station within the Empire. Docking request granted. So we will land this killer Viper here, and I'll show you how to cash in on your bounties. Nice, quick, easy, painless process. And also, if you catch a bounty uh, due to accidentally shooting a, you know, government vessel that was assisting you, I suggest you come to one of these outposts because they don't have security. You can hop in here and pay off your bounty and continue on your way. So nice, easy process. You come into your service screen here. 
go to bo uh, contacts. Local security office, redeem your bounty vouchers. Confirm it, you're done, you're paid. Went in there, my balance went up the 11, almost 12,000, and that's it. If you had a, a bounty, you would pay it under the Pilots Federation. So while you're at the station, don't forget to take care of all the important stuff. I'm not going to refuel because I have a fuel scoop. Like I said, I built this ship to go on very, very long trips and not have to stop by stations in case there aren't any. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time.